Giant balloons launched into the stratosphere to beam Internet service to Earth have helped scientists measure tiny ripples in our upper atmosphere, uncovering patterns that could improve weather forecasts and climate models. The ripples, known as gravity waves or buoyancy waves, emerge when blobs of air are forced upward and then pulled down by gravity. Imagine a parcel of air that rushes over mountains, plunges toward cool valleys, shuttles across land and sea and ricochets off growing storms, bobbing up and down between layers of stable atmosphere in a great tug of war between buoyancy and gravity. A single wave can travel for thousands of miles, carrying momentum and heat along the way. Although lesser known than gravitational waves, undulations in the fabric of space-time, atmospheric gravity waves are ubiquitous and powerful, said Stanford University atmospheric scientist Aditi Shishadri, senior author of a new study detailing changes in high-frequency gravity waves across. They cause some of the turbulence felt on airplanes flying in clear skies and have a strong influence on how storms play out at ground level. Spun out of Google parent company Alphabet in 2018, Loon has sent thousands of sensor-laden balloons sailing 12 miles up in the stratosphere, well above the altitude of commercial planes and most clouds, for 100 days or more at a stretch. This was just a very lucky thing because they weren't collecting data for any scientific mission. The researchers calculated gravity wave motions from data that balloons collected over 6, 811 separate 48-hour periods from 2014 to 2018. To mount an equivalent scientific campaign would be terribly expensive. But in an integrated sense, they affect, for instance, the momentum budget of the jet stream, which is this massive planetary scale thing that interacts with storms and plays an important role in setting their course, Shishadri said. And they interact with the quasi-biennial oscillation, in which, roughly every 14 months, the belt of winds blowing high over the equator reverses direction, with big impacts on ozone depletion and surface weather far beyond the tropics. As a result, understanding gravity waves is key to improving weather forecasts at the regional scale, especially as global warming continues to disrupt historical patterns. Building better models Current climate models estimate the effects of high-frequency gravity waves on circulation in a kind of black box, with few constraints from real-world observations or application of the limited existing knowledge of the physical processes at play. They found these waves are larger and build up more kinetic energy in the tropics and during the summer, smaller waves moving with less energy are more common close to the poles and during the winter. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you new tech videos. Thank you.